Hello and welcome to the Zaxcom Digital Wireless Instructional Video. My name is Thomas, and I'm here to teach you how to use the complete line of digital wireless transmitters and receivers in our product line. The TRX series wireless systems are the most advanced on the market. As advanced as they are, however, they are also extremely flexible and easy to use. In just a few steps, you can convert a mono transmitter into a stereo hop, record completely isolated tracks as a backup on each transmitter, and even control the transmitters remotely, allowing you to change gain settings on the transmitters and place units in a standby mode to preserve battery life. This guide is chock full of information, so please keep your chapter button handy as you may need to backtrack if you missed something. Let's get started. First up, Zaxcom's transmitter product line. The TRX900 and the TRX900AA. These body pack transmitters are identical in every way, except for the size and battery type. The TRX900 is among the smallest transmitters on the market and will operate for up to six hours on a single CR123A lithium battery. The TRX900AA is a regular size transmitter and will operate for up to 10 hours on two AA lithium batteries. These transmitters are extremely versatile and have the ability to transmit in either mono or stereo mode with the optional stereo adapters. The TRX700 plug-on style transmitter supplies phantom power to its connected microphone. This product works great for hiding plant microphones as well as any wireless boom situation. The TRX800. This handheld version of the wireless product line allows for interchangeable capsules, perfect for stage performances or any handheld situation. And finally, the TRX992 the ultimate wireless boom package available on the market. It allows a boom operator to have a lightweight transmitter on their belt, as well as a built-in IFB receiver, rather than having to wear multiple products to accomplish the same task. So let's now discuss the receiver product line. The RX900 is the portable receiver option. It is a perfect solution for mounting on cameras or placing in an ENG style bag. It can be powered internally via four AA lithium batteries or externally via the DC jack. The M and S suffixes refer to the channel output configuration. M stands for mono and can be only used as a single channel mono receiver. S stands for stereo and gives you the flexibility of using it as a mono or stereo receiver. If you are a cart style mixer, then the RX4900 is for you. It is a rack mounted receiver that contains four permanently installed receiver modules. Just like the RX900, this product has the ability to receive mono or stereo as well, and has eight XLR outputs on the back to allow up to four sets of stereo outputs. It is powered only by external DC and is supplied with an external power supply. It also has a headphone matrix on the front panel for quick listening purposes. Last but not least, one of the most revolutionary products in our industry, the IFB100. This product introduces a revolutionary way of controlling your equipment that interfaces with the transmitters directly. It allows you to control the transmitters from your ENG bag or mixing cart without leaving your mixing station. You can remotely change the gain on any of your transmitters, even during a take. In between setups, you can engage the low power mode, which will put your transmitters into a sleep mode to greatly increase battery life. So, now that you know the product line, let's dive into these units and show you how to use all of these exciting features. But first, let's make sure that our units are up to date with the most current software. This ensures the reliability of information in this video, as well as the most functionality out of your wireless system. First, turn on your transmitter. When it lights up, press and hold the down key. This slows down the boot up process and allows you to read the software version number in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now, if your transmitter reads 610, it has the latest version as of this video. If not, please continue on to learn how to update your transmitter. First, we need to download the installation file from Zaxcom's website. 
Under the support link, click on software updates and download the latest TRX series operating software. Uncompress the zip file with your preferred uncompressing utility to locate the .bin file. Using a multi-card reader, mount a mini SD card formatted in a TRX transmitter into your computer. When the card mounts, drag and drop the .bin file directly into the card's root. Eject the card. With your transmitter turned off, insert it into the media slot. Flip the power on and quickly hold the up and down arrow keys on your transmitter with one hand. Once you see it display burning ROM, you can let go of the keys. When the transmitter displays that it is finished, cycle the power by flipping the power switch off and back on again. You should now see that the unit has updated its version number to 610 during the boot cycle. One quick note, there are two different .bin files in each software release for the TRX transmitters. The file with a T at the end of the name can only be loaded into the TRX-992. The other file can be loaded into the IFB-100 and all other TRX transmitters as well as the ZFR product line. Be careful not to install the wrong software in a transmitter. Congratulations, you have now updated your software. Now let's continue to learn how to use your wireless system in mono mode.